Good morning. So um, let's get started. Um, it's been a couple of days since I um, did our last recording. Uh, things going on. Uh, so we need to catch up, see where we are. Okay. All right, we were building an import. Um, and so we've got as far as, um, let's find out where we've got, we done that now. Uh, we created a read file function, um, which will take in a file name um, and output the snippets it finds um, and or an error. Um, and it just does um, a quick pass of, um, make sure it is JSON, uh, passes the header to see if what version it is, um, and then uses a format uh, to then get the snippets based on that format, either export format 101 or export format default, I guess. Um, so that's fine. Uh, and we had that working. So let's just double check that everything's okay. Uh, where am I fine? I need to bump that up again, don't we? A little bit. So makes okay. Make test. Just make sure that's up and running. It is. Good. Okay. So um, we got to the point where we need to do something with these snippets. We need to import them for reals. We need to put them in the database. Um, and I was in two minds as to how to do that. Uh, and I still haven't really thought about it. Um, I think... I think what I'll do is I'll go with what I've put there, which is we need to build on the server side on the daemon, uh, where all the snippets are held, um, a little update function which takes a whole bunch of snippets and does the right thing with them. Um, and then just returns stats as to what happened. Um, yeah, I think so. I think, so if I just double check what I've got, um, I don't think I've got anything in here. Oh, that's, that's the old ones. So the existing version of Snippet Pixie which I've currently got as a snap. Um, if I do um, an export, I can't remember where the file will go now. Let's try this. Um, snippets 2022 one in are quite stable as well just so I don't get messed up okay did that work this is the funny thing isn't it yes yeah, this is a bug in the existing version it doesn't put it anywhere but home I'm just going to move that I need to wear that out but Part of the reason why I'm rewriting in Go. So, um, so now we have that. And I think I've added a, let's just do a, do a diff on that. 12, 14, yeah, okay, I just added the, to do debug remove because I, I keep using that and I never, I keep writing it out fully. No, I don't need to. Um, OK, 
Okay, so with that, I do snippetbixy import. And now this is where it might come unstuck because I'm pretty sure it's going to. not work here properly. I need to Yeah, I don't think it did its thing there. Yeah. Um wonder if I do full path. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It back or um, just do it here. Let's see what happens when I do this. Nope. See, this is the problem. Why is it not working anymore? It used to work. Let's try. All this so I can just see the stats um, and it's not working. That's interesting actually. I wonder if it's a snip snap thing. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm not going to waste any time on that. Um, I do need to work out why that's not working there. Although the UI works, so yeah, but yeah. Okay, so what I was gonna do there was just see what the stats, because it prints out stats when you do the import. Um, and I can't remember what they are. Um, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. I probably shouldn't really do it anyway. Um, okay, let's uh, let's just get on with this. I need to do a bulk update thing. So we're going to do that in the daemon. Um, so we're going to need to have a new function. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to do that. We have at the moment an add snippet and no update snippet. I guess we haven't got that yet. That's interesting. Let's think about this. If we have already, we do have Do have an update snippet? Hmm. Okay, so that's going to get trickier there. So if we're doing an import of an old 
old format JSON file. It will not have an ID in it on each snippet. It won't have a last used either. But if the snippet exists, we will be able to find it by its abbreviation, fill in the blanks, and then update the body. But we really only want to do that if it's an old format. Because if it's a new format, we kind of want to keep the relationship between the UUID and the abbreviation. That's the whole point of the UUID. So Hmm. So the wrapper is going to have to have some smarts. And the manager doesn't need to know about the file format. which brings me back to the CLI doing the bulk of the work. CLI or GUI. So we do need to kind of make it an internal package at least. Well, again, it's kind of like file specific, so it could go in export. If I did that, Okay. I was just thinking there maybe the read file should return what version of the file it just read. That might be handy. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. So I am going to We 
got head aversion. If we Let's think. We could just return that. I think I'll do it as the first thing as well. I do. I just did a plain int, didn't I? That's wrong. So imports read file. Doesn't do an import anymore. From <sighs> previous export. Turn in file version and snippets.
Mm. We need two minds on that one. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to do I think I'm coming back to the idea of doing everything client side, but just with a package. I do worry about how much information can be passed across the bus in one go. I don't know how big a data set it can take. So if I do everything client side and then just pass across updates and inserts, Although, I mean, I do grab a whole bunch of snippets, so... It's also the transaction thing as well. It would be good if a file has any kind of problem during import. That it rolls back. Yeah, okay. I think that's probably best then that we do everything on the daemon. I was going to say server, but daemon. Um, and we should just pass all the info we can.
Yeah. I mean, so many, too many minds at the moment as to what to do here, because there's, there's pros and cons. I could even just pass the file contents across to the daemon, and it passes it, checks it, does everything, and then imports what it can. At the moment, I'm not doing that. I'm passing the file, plucking out the data, and then going to do something with it. And then the other option is once I have that data, if I've got it client side, is process it at client side one by one, or just pass all the data across to the daemon. There's lots of different combinations there. And I'm not sure what's best. Maybe the transactional on the daemon. Just for a bit of safety there. At the very least, we'd have a bulk update function then. Which may come in handy later. But passing the file version is then nonsensical because we've already got snippets. Albeit with duff IDs and last used. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to make it so the read file <coughs> returns not only that, <coughs> excuse me, it's also going to return the generator. even though I'm probably not going to use it at the moment. But it is something that could be useful, and it gives me some flexibility. It's just information from, from the file. We're re reading everything, getting everything out. So,
let's do it this way. Well, I don't know, illusionist, what is? <clears throat> Even though it's blank. At least then we've got the information and we can do whatever we like with it. It's kind of a little bit of a premature optimization, but I have a feeling that it might come in handy. Missed one. Oh. time being we'll do that it says don't care Uh, right, so it's untestable. No, I can test it. I was thinking about just splitting up there and doing content stuff. I don't need to. I could do something like that. Okay, what I can do here then I think I need to I 
Getting to the point where I need to scale those out again, don't I? Let's do a quick test of this farm read then. So I am going to do something like did I have a skill in here? No. Probably in here though. Not quite what I need. Don't need to go the database route. Okay. Instead, what we will do. that. Do we need a test in? I don't think we do at the moment. We're going to return a slice of snippet snippets We need that as well, don't we? And we do need to check the testing as well. Okay, well, we'll do that. So we'll take that as well. And just as, yeah, I need pointer to that, just like that. So we're going to return the test framework and some new snippets. 
First thing we do is create some snippets, get an ID. Create one, create another ID, create one, return. Okay. Think that covers everything here. That's a tough test there. Yeah, I shouldn't be relying on the last um, the last thing there. So that's a time time time. So that should really be um, pluck out a snippet and check it. So Can I do this? Can I just um, do snippets? Apparently not. First one. Okay. And then here. Same thing. Take out all of that. Create a temp file name. Write to it. Read it. All right, so let's check in just the JSON format. Again, I could probably scale that out.
Hmm. Let's not worry, not worry about that just now. Make sure that works before I um Okay. And now I need to kind of take Well, I could take basically one of it. But, didn't take the function name. Test the read file now. So first thing we do is create one. We've already tested the format is correct above on the right. Now we want to test that we can read it back and get the data out. So I'm going to write one in version 101 for funsies. Then instead of OS read file, we're going to do export read file. Sorry, we can just do that. Can we? Yeah. Um, and we're expecting a generator a version and some snippets so we expect um So we're expecting the generator to be snippet pixie. And we are expecting version 101. We are Expecting length of the snippets to be two. We've only built two snippets so far. And 
that's that for that one. Although, I guess we could test some of the data. So we could also do... Um, Let's change this. It's a bit dangerous that. Uh, do that. now so um last used is that gonna work guess we'll see Do it again.
Do we use now? Yeah. So at the moment, I suppose it doesn't matter there. Let's do this. Just why not? Okay. It passes. <laughs> Made the wrong thing. <laughs> Haven't been testing it. Okay. Um, I'll just test them all. I've got fail. Okay. Interesting. So it's a pending that. Okay. That was one thirty six. So which way round is that then? Let's get confused. Uh, okay. So the actual doesn't have seconds on it, of course. we're using timestamps. So what we need to do is just make sure that we get the Unix version for comparison in all cases. Because that's as granular as we get. Pass, 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 fail. Ah, one, four, six. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not expecting, I'm expecting two oh one now. Because we've just written a two, the default two oh one version. I'm still expecting two snippets of that. Hopefully, okay, good. Pass, pass, pass. Everything's passing. Okay, good stuff. All right, so we have a way of testing the read file now, so we know it's good. Uh, we've already tested the write. We know it's good formatting, good importing. We're getting the snippets back that we expected with the right date, times, IDs, and all that kind of stuff. The one thing I do need to do is change this. At the moment, 
when we write out the version 101, we're including an ID and last used, neither of which exist on the current 101s. So really, they should not be there. Um, and that's going to impact what we do on an import. Um, because if we try and import a 101 into this version, we need to match up purely on abbreviations and not on IDs, obviously, because we haven't got any. Um, and we need to default the ID just to 0, 0, 0 no matter what. Because IDs are nonsensical otherwise. Um, so yeah, but right, I've got... Um, got a very hard stop just now. I'm going to have to go to an appointment very soon. So I think that's as far as I'm going to get today. But I think so, yeah. I don't think I can, I don't think I've quite got enough time to muck about with the um, the formatting for 101. No, I've only got a few minutes. Um, so, okay, that's good in that we've now got um, the makings of good data coming back from the exports read file. We've got a little bit of a test for it as well. Let's put um, a couple of to-dos in here as well, because I really do need to sort that out. Do that here. To do. B one hundred and one format should not include ID or. Okay, that's a little reminder as to what we're going to have to do next. Otherwise, it's going to go a bit pear shaped on the imports. Okay. Okay, uh, so a bit of a weird one today. Um, to and fro as to what to do, but I think I know what I'm going to do now. I think I have to do it basically client side. Um, because I need to do some mucking about with the data. Um, and I really don't, well, no, I don't want to do a client side. That's what I decided, wasn't it? Get the data, do it server side so that I can do a rollback if there's any problems with the data. See, still in two minds, but anyway. Uh, the to do still sits up side, so yeah, that's good. Um, all right, so uh, thank you for watching. Uh, until next time, you take care.